Hey, my name is Jeremy and today we're going to be looking at what options you have to gate noise inside of FL Studio. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can get alerted every time I post a new video on music production for songwriters and music producers. Now most of the time I don't have the most ideal situation to be recording in. I have to deal with things like fan noise from the vents as well as computer noise in my small studio space. So today I'm going to talk with you about three different plugins that you can use inside of FL Studio to try to help deal with noise by gating out the things that you don't want in the recordings that you're making. So let's jump in. So this is a clip that I put together just trying out some ideas, testing out some different styles of vocal production and working on electric guitar and some other things. So let me let you listen to a little bit of the clip so you can get an idea. Okay, so you get the idea. Uh, so one of the things that happens is in this vocal, there's uh, definitely a lot of background noise that's happening. So I'm just gonna play a little bit of the clip. I don't wanna say too much. That's the vocal, and there's the parallel processing. Baby, I wanna be sure, wanna be sure that I say no. So I was just testing out some different things, trying some ideas out of, of doing some different kinds of processing on it but there's a lot of noise on that initial vocal. So what I wanna to try to do is actually take out some of that noise by doing some noise gating. So I'm gonna show you three different ways like I talked about earlier. And the first one that we're gonna work through is actually the fruity limiter. And the function that we're gonna be focusing on is actually right over here in the corner. So it's just the noise gate part that's over here. So you have a couple of controls. You have the release, the gain, and the threshold. So the threshold is where we're gonna set the noise floor for what we want to try to get rid of. And then the gain kind of works the opposite way. So the more that you work it down and the more it's going to get rid of it. And then the release is how quickly it closes back up. So let's look at it visually what's happening uh, from the waveform point of view. And then we'll start dialing in some of those settings. I don't want to say too much. But baby, I want to be sure. So you can see in this recorded part that there's some noise that's kind of right down here around this level. And then there's a couple of like weird little lip smack things that happen around here. So what I'm gonna do is actually bring up the threshold to be right around in here. So hopefully we'll catch some of that noise. And then we're just gonna go ahead and dial down the gain in order to get rid of the noise in between. So let's go ahead and play that little section again. I don't wanna say too much. So it's a little bit cranking too hard, so let's cut the release up a little bit to try to make it sound a little more natural. I don't wanna say too much. But baby, I wanna be sure, wanna be sure that I say no. All right, so that's one way that we can tackle this problem is to do that. So the second plugin that we're gonna be talking about today is Edison, and it is a powerhouse of a plugin with loads and loads of features, but we're really just gonna be talking about the noise gate feature inside of Edison for using it on vocal recordings. So I'm gonna come over here to the vocal, I'm gonna left click on this little icon of the waveform up here, and then click on edit sample. And that's gonna bring up Edison, and then when we come in here and stretch this out and drag it out, you'll see that it has brought in the vocal that we were just working on. So this is the vocal without any processing on it. This is just the raw vocal. I don't wanna say too much. So what Edison is saying is, this green part is saying, this is where I think the threshold for the noise is at. And how you set that is to come in here and drag up or down. And then I'm gonna zoom in here by holding down control and using my scroll wheel just checking to make sure that that level makes sense. So I'm gonna set it right about there, and then I'm going to come into this wrench icon, and I'm gonna say, gate the noise. And when I do that, you'll see that all the stuff that was there is no longer there in between. So let's listen to that really quick. I don't wanna say too much. So it might be cutting off a little bit too much, but again, you can come in here with the noise gate threshold, set that, better or worse or however you want that to be and then dial it into the taste that you want for this particular vocal. Now go ahead and crunch that like button if this video is helping you out. 
And the last plugin that we're gonna talk about is Maximus. And this has to be probably the most complicated of the three plugins to use for noise gating, but it is a very powerful plugin and I use it in almost all of my recordings when I'm doing limiting. But it also has some other great features like DSing as well as the noise gate that we're gonna talk about today. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna choose Maximus, and then I'm going to drag this out. And all we're really gonna be using is this master channel portion. And then we are going to use the compression part of the master curve to set up a gate for the vocal. And all we're doing is the same thing. We're setting a level for the noise and then we're going through the process of dialing that in to make sure it's not cutting off the main part of the vocal. So if I come in here and I right click, it'll create a point on this line. And then if I right click it again and click hold, it's gonna create it like a drop off a cliff. And it's what Maximus is saying at this point is get rid of everything below this point right here and treat it as noise. So it's acting as the gate. And then the next thing that we need to do is cut off this um, snap to grid function right here. And that'll give us the freedom to move this down smoothly. Cause if you don't, then you can only move in set kind of intervals and it snaps around. We still wanna be on this line, but what we're gonna do is just dial it back until it sounds a little more natural. So let's go ahead and listen to it really quickly and then we'll have to dial in the settings a little bit more. All right, so you can tell it's cutting out a lot. So we're gonna drag that down some more. That sounds better. Let's drag it down just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna cut up the release. So you can see right here what Maximus is doing. So as the vocal's going on, it's letting everything through, but then as soon as it hits that threshold level of what it considers to be noise, it's shutting the signal down so that nothing else is coming through and then it opens back up for when you're singing again. So that's a basic way to use Maximus to try to do that noise gating. Again, it's a little more complicated, I think, than the Fruity Limiter or even the Edison plugin but it is a way to get that done. If you are frustrated with vocal mixing and you just want a cheat sheet that will guide you through getting a clear mix on your vocals, then you can click on the link in the description below to get your free cheat sheet for vocal mixing. And be sure to check out this next video which will show you how to get a great vocal mix using just stock plugins inside of FL Studio. And I will see you in the next round.